Good evening. The stunning overthrow of Mikhail Gorbachev by communist hardliners dominates the news this Monday. The Red Army tanks had rolled into the heart of the city and not even heroic gestures could stop them. Я покидаю свой пост с тревогой, но и с надеждой, с верой в вас, в вашу мудрость и силу духа. Мы наследники великой цивилизации. Weapons immediately or very soon because uh, they would be afraid that that may have negative effects on their political position in the in the in the country. Мы открылись миру, открылись, отказались от вмешательства в чужие дела, от использования войск за пределами страны. И нам ответили доверием, солидарностью и уважением. Мы стали одним из главных оплотов по перестройству современной цивилизации на мирных демократических началах. Dom Roslock, or House of the Mermaid, in English, is a 2D atmospheric story developed by Yakov Botsov, set in a small town in a crumbling Soviet empire. A big yard in this town is where the kids hang out. They play, fight, love and hate. Life is normal until one day, one child vanishes, and the rest of the children struggle to understand the horrors they must live with, the Dom Roslock. This is the place where worst nightmares come true. Yakov said himself that this game takes inspiration from writers Stephen King and Robert Stein, and you can see this clearly in the game, giving you knowledge about what's going on, but not enough to give you the full picture and the dark, gritty reality of everyday people, all coming together to give an eerie, unsettling playthrough. Even though this game is not truly a horror game, it's suspenseful in the way it's delivered. Dome Roselock is a heavily story-driven game, with few puzzles that you have to complete, no running scenes or panic buttons. You could kind of call this a walking simulator if you want to, but you will be reading a good majority of the game with people to talk to, notes, and trinkets to help build the world and fill the story in. The writing is quite nice and adds a lot of weight. There are some letters that have been messed up in translation, like S's being replaced with T's, but for me, I seem to have filled the blanks in automatically or replaced the letters to make it readable. It wasn't until about 45 minutes into this game that I realized the error. The downside to this story is that you really don't get much information from the characters you play, so you don't get that type of attachment to them. The puzzles are simple enough, kind of like your old point and click games. You find items and it opens a passage or gives you a new item to help you find that passage. They don't require over the top thinking and kind of base themselves in reality, so no weird wire in a water bottle to open an elevator. Puzzles that require you to read the notes you find in the area, finding razor blades to cut tape, and simple things like this. The only strange puzzle is needing to chew tar to put on a leak on a pipe. Other than that, you can put two and two together. Graphically, it's unique, and at first I thought this was basic, but it seemed to fit the tone and the feel of the game perfectly. The beginning of the game has a warning about seizures, and please take this seriously, a lot of flashing colors and flickering are prevalent in this game. I don't tend to have issues with this, but even I had to turn my head in some portions of the cutscenes. I feel like that they could have toned this down by half and would have made the effect significantly better. Sound design in this game is on par with what you would expect in a Stephen King movie. A lot of ambient noises and tension music put in all the right places. It honestly puts you on the edge of your seat, and in my opinion, it's the biggest proponent in this game for its atmosphere. Altogether, you get a unique story with a new setting that's not looked at enough. Early 90s post-Soviet Russia is a great setting for a lot of possible games, and this may be a good starting point for that new revolution of games. This game's about four to five hours of tension for only about $10, and I think that's a great bargain for what you get. So if you guys are interested in the game, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description. You can check it out there on Steam, as well as a link to our Discord if you guys wanna come chat. And thank you guys for watching this video all the way through. Leave a like if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We got a whole bunch of nice games that are coming out this January, and you don't wanna miss out.
So, like always guys, I'll see you in the next video, and have fun.